I seen that you ran into Little J in jail. Man, Little J ass up. Now, I mean, look, I ain't even trying to speak down nobody, but it's not even that, though. I don't got no problem with Lil' J, none of that shit, folks. It's just the fact that we live a real life, Scud, and folks was in there ducking this shit. He was in there ducking this shit so hard that he went to PC. He went to PC so gay, he stopped, like, he started letting, like, the, like, the people in PC because it's like to be in there. Like, being PC, you ever saw, you ever seen a transsexual in jail? Now, people are here, we want to downplay the situation. Now, yeah, let's talk about it. So a transsexual in jail, some of these, they call them a high. Fake, the big fake ass and long hair. He's been in jail for a long time. Like, man, that girl, think you say, you know damn well ain't no girl. You know damn well ain't no girl. You try to act like, oh, I ain't no. Yes, you did. You knew. I saw you. You knew that was a mother. You just want to act like you didn't know. And that feel like they life over with. He was fighting a murder. So he felt like he was over with. He felt like he was, because he called a murder. Like, they, like, the person who they tried to do that shit was my cousin. Jada, like, that's my cousin. Like, people don't know this, but this is just my family. They tried to rob my family, and my cousin ended up blowing their ass down and killed the person that he tried to rob him with. So, in Chicago, you get charged with that person murder. They didn't get, they didn't go to jail because they killed nobody. They went, eh, they ass went to jail because they tried to rob my cousin, my cousin blew them down, and then the nigga died on the head. So, he had to go to jail for that. You know what I'm talking about, though? And, so, instead of motherfucking, uh... So instead of motherfucking, uh, like, like, niggas just, like, he thought his life was over, so he was doing shit that he didn't think people was going to get know what he was doing. That's all it was. Like, it wasn't even, like, whatever, to each his own. You want a nigga to suck your dick? Let a nigga suck your dick. I'm not going to let a nigga suck my dick, but you know what I know? And that's why niggas got mad when he came home trying to act like he, when he come home trying to make this songs act like he wasn't in there scared duffing and shit. Like, niggas be in Cook County Jail fighting every day behind the shit that your block repping. So if I go to jail, you know I'm from Wugaroo, I gotta take on every beef that come with Wugaroo. And I'm talking about though, if you go to jail, you claim SCL, you gotta take on every beef that come with SCL. If you don't wanna do this, you take your bitch ass to PC. That's bitch ass hoe ass shit. I, he lost my respect, cause before this, Lil' Jay was kinda cool. Like, I kicked with Lil' Jay previous to like, like, he was, he was cool to me. Like, like, I ain't never had no problem with him until we went to jail. And like, bro, why you in PC? Like. I'm like we all famous rappers. Like I just I, I, like what you mean? Like they fucking they could be mad at me for saying this though. But like it's hella shit that some of these Chicago rappers was doing in jail that wasn't right. They was in that just ducking they shit. And when they can act like this, what record you was friendly as hell with in jail? You was friendly as hell. How was I friendly if you walk up to me and say you fuck with me? What I supposed to beat your ass? You walk up to me, Rico, I fuck with you. I fuck with you too. Right now, you walk up to me and say, fuck me, I fuck with you too. Like, y'all want me to beat your ass for saying you fuck with me? Like, no, I'm not that tight, bro. I'm gonna fuck with you. If you I've been saying it since I came out. You fuck with me, I fuck with you. You know what I'm talking about, though? So they mad because I was fucking with everybody. And I, my books are unlimited. Like, so I make sure everybody's straight, whatever. I don't get no fuck where you from, what's going on. Long, I, I love God. So if you love God, you got good energy, then we can rock then. Phone was that bitch ducking that shit, though. Ducking that shit. And PC not trying to do it. Ask the people. They'll show you the paper. They used to come to me when I leave court like, bro, we don't think it's safe for you to go back on this deck. So our jail feel like you got to go to PC. But if you don't want to go to PC, you sign this right now and you wave this when you sign a wave and say that you're not going to PC. I sign the wave every time. Put me on deck with the killers. Because I be rapping this shit. Niggas want to be my ass. We going to do it. We going to go right under the stairs and fight every day. Every day. You a real nigga in that bitch, you gonna have your own phone in front of red. Niggas ain't even you was able to call their people in there. Stop playing with me with folks in there. Is there anybody else in there that you ran into that we would know about? <laughs> I ran into a lot of people in there. Niggas was in there. I, I ran into a lot of people. I uh I ran into uh uh Cino from Sick on Mob, that was my boy. I ran into a lot of niggas from Folly, I ran into a lot of niggas from 300, a lot of niggas from 600, it was all cool, like, 